So I'm going to start by asking you what your concerns, what your initial concerns were for the boat that's now on the bottom. Um, well, some environmental concerns for sure with the fuel and so on, but more of a safety concern. Um, if anything happens there, there's, if the fire department here, we can't do anything on the water or on the ice. Um, it has to come to shore before we get involved and that would take a while for other fire departments to, to do that. So when it comes out of the water, it'll be a, a sigh of relief for us for sure. Locals probably know that it's there, but what what happens when, when other people start moving back into the community for the season? One of the first things they'll do is put their jet ski in or their little boat or maybe a bigger boat. And, and if they don't see it, they get a little close. If they do see it, they're gonna kind of get curious and check it out probably, so. That probably won't happen for a few months, so hopefully things can get cleaned up before then. But And do you hope that the officials and maybe boat owners have learned a lesson from this? What would that be? I would hope so. Um, never take this river for granted. It's a, it's a large body of water. Um, we're blessed to have it in our backyard. But as far as leaving something in all winter, um, you can't leave an ice shack on, on the ice without being harassed if you do leave it on. So how can you not leave a boat there?